You saw the video title, didn't you? Now you're confused. Why would actors and actresses not want to be in a movie together? Why in the world do they make beef of each other? Hmm, the simple answer? Why not let's dive into the video to find out if they do and what may have been the reason. Hello geekers and welcome back to another video. On today's episode of your favorite list, we'll be taking a very strong scalpel to dissect into actors and actresses who wouldn't want to be in a movie together. And what may have been the cause of these infamous beef? An essential part of being a living and breathing human is having to deal with classmates, co-workers, friends, enemies, and just naturally, people around us. Our personalities are entirely different. You don't like what I like, I don't like what you like. And so also is our temperament ability, which means we are always going to have a clash of personalities. And just as we perceive this in the real world, so also does those in the glamorous world of show business. While we all continue to see movie stars smiling during every press junket making statements like, Working on this movie was fun and all thanks to my co-stars. We, the fans, sitting on our couch, know that it can't always be all sunshine and rainbows. Celebrities also have grudges against each other, and some of these actors have some really epic situations, which, though they can be entertaining to watch, can get really personal and nasty. Keeping all of this info in mind, let's get down to unraveling the list. 1. Robert Downey Jr. and Terrence Howard To hear the name of your favorite hero? Well, so are we. Remember Iron Man 1? Good. So did you notice that Rhodey, Terrence Howard, who saw Tony's shiny silver suit in the garage is different from the Rhodey you've come to know as the War Machine. During his sight of the suit, he was eager to put it on, but instead said, next time baby, and then goes away. However, we haven't at any time seen that dream of his come true. We don't know all the details about Howard's departure from the series, but according to Terrence Howard, we can conclude that, indirectly at the very least, Robert Downey Jr. may have had something to do with it. Howard's contract with the MCU was originally signed for three films, but to bankroll Downey's hefty pay increase for Iron Man 2, Marvel offered a dramatic cut in salary. Howard, unsatisfied by this, balked at the offer, and Don Cheadle was brought in to suit up instead. There's been no real comment on the issue from Downey Jr., but Howard still seems bitter about how things went down, and it's unlikely that they'll be teaming up for any future projects. Number 2 Bill Murray and Lucy Liu All know that far from actions, Bill Murray seems like a completely cool kind of guy. However, if you've ever been on a set before, you would know that in such environments, Bill is completely all business and can be somewhat technical if things don't run smoothly. The dispute between Bill and Lucy can be traced back to the 2000 blockbuster remake of the iconic 70s TV show Charlie's Angels. In the movie, Murray played Bosley, the assistant to the mysterious Charlie, the millionaire who bankrolls all of the angels super sleuthing. Specific information sources are to be believed. Then Murray superfluously disliked Lucy Liu's acting to the extent that it got to a point where he stopped a scene and went to each of the angels in turn saying, I get why you're here and you've got talent. But referring to Liu, he said, what in the hell are you doing here? You can't act. Just as a part of being human, Lou was annoyed by this and the actress attacked Bill, with the two having to be separated by the crew. We can't be so sure whether this was really how it went down, but the fact that Murray was replaced in the sequel does allow for the theory that Bill and Lucy didn't get along. 3. Will Smith and Janet Hubert You heard me right, Will Smith and Janet Hubert are celebrities that won't want to be in movies together, but what exactly is the cause of this? Still, remember the classic 90s sitcom called The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? Not only did this beloved sitcom showcase the talents of Will Smith's, it also had Janet Hubert play the role of Vivian for just three seasons before being replaced was apparently challenging to work with on set, and in a Q&A session, Alfonso Ribeiro stated that she went nuts. Will Smith commented on the issue back in 1993 saying, I can say straight up that Janet Hubert wanted the show to be the Aunt Viv of Bel Air show because I know she is going to dog me in the press. Hubert also revoked the repeated rumors of a reunion saying there will never be a real reunion of the Fresh Prince and that she has no interest in seeing any of these people on that kind of level. 
4. Kevin Smith and Bruce Willis Smith and Bruce Willis both acted in Live Free or Die Hard, with Smith playing the role of a hacker known as Warlock, who helps John McClane track down cyber terrorist Thomas Gabriel. When some uncredited work was done on the script with the writer-director rewriting chunks of dialogue, Smith completely impressed Willis and led the two to working together on Cop Out, which proved to be a challenge for both men. Things didn't go smoothly on the Cop Out set. Smith criticized Willis's attitude and later called him the unhappiest, most bitter, and meanest emo bitch he has ever met on any job. He also remarked that he wouldn't even pose for the movie poster. An anonymous talent representative for the production commented on Smith smoking too much pot on set and generally leaving the actors with little to work with. Smith, on the other hand, pointed out that he delivered the movie on time and under budget. Even though we may never know exactly what happened, we can be happy we got a good movie out of it, right? 5. Jim Carrey and Tommy Lee Jones The situation at hand, you probably wouldn't get much more different personalities than Jim Carrey and Tommy Lee Jones on paper. Though most people regarded Joel Shoemaker's neon nightmare Batman Forever at a low point for the Cape Crusader, it at least appeared that the actors were having fun, even if audiences weren't. And although the Riddler and Two-Face may have become best friends in an attempt to defeat the Dark Knight in the movie, the story is entirely different when viewed off the screen. An appearance on The Howard Stern Show Jim Carrey recounted that he went into the same restaurant as Lee Jones one day, and that on set the next day, he went over to him to say hi. To put it in quotes, Carrey said, The blood drained from his face in such a way that I realized that I had become the face of his pain or something. And he got kind of shaking and hugged me and said, I hate you. I really don't like you. And I was like, wow, okay, what's going on, man? He said, I cannot sanction your buffoonery. Deep, right? 6. Nick Nolte and Julia Roberts Just break this in straight. Nick Nolte and Julia Roberts did not actually see eye to eye while working on the movie I Love Trouble. Maybe they just loved to act according to the title, but things got so bad that production was utterly affected by the hatred of the co-stars for each other. When asked for a New York Times interview, Robert said that Nolte could be charming and nice, but he was also downright disgusting. Nolte made a comeback at Robert saying, It's not nice to call someone disgusting, but she's not a nice person. Everyone knows that. Tracking down from that period, Nolte has called I Love Trouble the worst film he's ever appeared in and that he felt he sold his soul by doing it. Julia Roberts, on the other hand, called Nolte the worst actor she's ever worked with. Pulling info from these highlights, we can conclude that we're probably not going to be seeing a Nolte Roberts project in the works anytime soon. 7. Dwayne Johnson and Vin Diesel Be surprised, in a world like the one we live in, nothing is impossible. Yeah, and that's what we perceive with Dwayne and Vin. These stars recently had their feud become public while shooting The Fate of the Furious. It was all initiated when The Rock posted a video on Instagram to celebrate his last week of shooting the movie. In the caption, he said, My male co-stars, however, are a different story. Some conduct themselves as stand-up men and true professionals, while others don't. The ones that don't are too chicken shit to do anything about it anyway. To the media, it didn't take very long for reports to come in accusing both of the actors of being divas on set. That the actors did not have a scene together, unlike previous movies, the rumor got fueled that the two actors really hate each other and just couldn't be bothered to film together. 8. James Franco and Tyrese Gibson Though this is going to be the last on our list for today, this is still the most remarkable and highly personal fight. Preparing for his role as a junkie in City by the Sea, James Franco went full method and slept on the streets to get him in the required mindset. In the movie, Franco plays a new naval recruit who is entered in a midshipman boxing tournament called the Brigades, where he eventually faces Tyrese Gibson as his commanding officer. Both men get into fighting shape, but Franco apparently overstepped the line. The filming of the climactic fight Franco didn't pull his punches, something which Tyrese Gibson understandably took exception to. In a later interview, Gibson stated, Whenever we'd have to get in the ring for boxing scenes, and even during practice, the dude was full on hitting me. I was always like, James, lighten up man, we're just practicing. He never lightened up. I never want to work with him again, and I'm sure he feels the same way. 
It felt very personal. It was fucked up. And yeah, it really is. I mean, something we can naturally conclude from this list is that fights among actors in the staged world of Hollywood come with special effects. Or why else would you just shake and hug your acting partner and then tell them you hate them? Let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and peace.